Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander 4. Last time was an especially cru crucial mission uh, with some deep uh, storylines involved as uh, we managed to blow up the TCS Lexington. We didn't know we were going to run into it. And um, Captain Paulson is dead. Seether killed him and now he seems to be in charge of the Confederation. So there's some crap going on within the Confed. So... Anyways, let's go over to the uh, CIC and chart room. Doesn't look like we can get a mission briefing yet, but we can talk to Captain Eisen. And Sosa, apparently. Come on. Ah, you see, sir? There it is, right there. Yes, Lieutenant S. What do you see? There are holes in the data I confiscated from the Lexington. We've got no confed transmission data for a specific 18-hour period. Before and after that time period, confed undertook operations which seemed to relate to the chemists in the lab we confiscated. But without that comm data, we can't make a firm connection. We're missing carrier group trackings, fleet movements, assignment logs. More pieces to the puzzle. Oh, I've got it. There's a confed comm station right here in Orestes, orbiting the system's outermost planet. Oh, sure. Most of confed's comm traffic must relay through there. Helm, set nav coordinates for Orestes 9. Aye, aye, sir. We're going on a scavenger hunt. Sir. Well, of course. How convenient is that? It just happens to be right next door. Hmm, can't seem to attend a mission briefing yet. Looks like we have another person we can talk to over here in the galley. Oh, it's Panther. And she sees us. You look lost in your thoughts. It's never going to end, is it? What? I spent seven years fighting the Karathi. And then I thought it was over and humanity was united, right? Now I'm taking aim on people who used to be my allies? Come on, Colonel. We're just pilots. We don't get to choose the enemy. How'd you become a flyer? I ran away from home when I was still a teenager. Fell in with some privateers. But the only good thing to come of that was learning to fly. Signed on with Confed when the Clarathi moved in on my home system. How about you? Yeah, I am. I thought I could stay away, but this is all I know how to do. We are smart people. We should be able to think of something better to do than all this killing. Hmm. Wow. She's dreaming. Yeah, you'd think. You would think so. I mean, yeah, that's a nice thought. <sighs> There's time. This isn't going to last forever. So you believe that the good will win? Okay, first off, I didn't realize Panther was a colonel, too, so now we have two colonels on the ship. Hmm, that could make for some uh, authority issues. And there was a little uh, small flirting there, a little tap on the shoulder. Eh, it's all very nice, all very well and good. Okay, uh, ah, looks like we can actually go on our mission now. So let's see what we get to do today. I'm afraid we have to postpone our plan for a comm station at a rest is nine. We just received a distress signal from a border world's convoy. It appears that they ran afoul of Confed's interdiction edict. And it now appears that Confed has entered into the border worlds to pursue them with a frigate and a destroyer. Proceed with all due haste, Colonel. That convoy needs our help. Right away, sir. Oh man, that's crazy. All right, let's talk to appliers here. Don't screw this one up, kid. Looks like a cakewalk. No, of course it's a cakewalk. I'm Colonel Blair. Laser cannons don't do much damage, but they sure fire fast. Well, that's good enough for me. We're actually going to want to take the Vindicator on this mission, just because we can't pick the Banshee. And we're going to need some speed for this one. I like the Vindicator. It's a medium fighter, but it also carries torpedoes. So I think that's kind of cool. So we're going to pick this one. That's a good one. And we'll pick a wingman. We haven't flown with Cat Scratch for a while, so let's pick him. Generally got some good stuff and only 18 kills, so that's good. 
Okay, we must destroy the Confid Frigate and the destroyer. Oh, cap ship missiles. Uh-oh. All right, see, this is where we're going to need that extra speed. All right. Let's go to the ship. All right, so this is kind of like those skip missile and cap missile missions we encountered in Wing Commander 3. Oh, one thing I forgot to do, by the way, is uh, pick image wreck missiles on the ship. So I went back and did that. So, okay, let's go see if we can save that convoy. All right. Lots of bogeys here, sir. All right, what do we got here? Got some Hellcats. All right, Cat Scratch, go get it. Break formation and open fire. I'm going for it, Colonel. All right. Constantly want to be looking out for the cap missiles. Seeing if we can track one of those things down. All right. Go get him, Cat Scratch. Good job. Okay, cat missile has been detected. So what you want to do now is, yeah, be constantly searching out for it. Now our job is to kind of go after these cat missiles, just like we did in the previous game, in Wing Commander 3, while at the same time dodging fire. So we had to do this when we were fighting some Strakas back in uh, Wing Commander 3. And hopefully Cat Scratch will do his job. We actually don't mind, I'd actually don't mind Cat Scratch getting the cell here. So yeah, constantly on the afterburner, so try and shoot this thing down. Come on, there we go, got it. So always have that afterburner on, because if it hits the destroyer, you know, mission over. And that's that. Okay, saw a cat missile go. Yeah, you definitely don't want to spend your time chasing after those Hellcats. There'll be plenty of time to do that uh, once you've taken out all the cat missiles. Whoa! Missed. Yeah, where is it? There it is. Fire! Come on. There we go. Got it. I believe there's only three, uh, I believe there's only three cat missiles that we're going to have to deal with, so. Fire! Boom! Yeah, nice job. Love that. Um, image direct missile. Okay, one more cat missile. Let's take it out. Come on, come on, you bastard. Can't shoot down with a missile, unfortunately, so. After going after it. And, come on, there we go. Got it. Alright, now all we need to do is finish off with these Hellcats. So I'll take care of that. Good job, Cat Scratch. And be back once I'm done with that. Alright, got him. Now all we have left to do is take out these two um, cat ships. So what we're going to do is, uh, let's see. Let Cat Scratch go after one of them. Actually, Cat Scratch is good in Form on my wing, immediately. Right away, sir. Let's just do it this way. All right, we have three torpedoes, which is another thing I like about the Vindicator. Okay, come on, there we go. Um, which is kind of cool for a medium fighter. I wish that the uh, that had been one of the same one of the redeeming qualities of uh, a Hellcat. Fire! Hopefully, they'll take it out in one shot. Yikes! Sweet. All right, got him. We owe you big time, Colonel. Thank you. Okay, so all I did was just set set cat scratch on him and then used a couple torpedoes. They go down real quick, just like you did in the previous mission. So, all right, way to go. I got confused a little bit because they said, um, you know, we're going down, Colonel. So um, I had a moment there and thought, wait, was I supposed to do that? But then I remembered, yeah, I had to do that. So, okay, let's go ahead and land. You're cleared, sir. All right, nice job, nice job. Let's go ahead and land this baby. Okay, and we've reached the end of CD3. Ooh, that's kind of exciting. Th uh, two CDs down and four more to go. There's actually six in the game. But what's going to happen next? Are we going to find that station on Orestes 9? You're going to have to wait until next time to find out. Until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.